Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through. Looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally the 4 slash 5 we still need to finish the book. We've got three Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland, Scotland and England to tick off. Also the Olympic Rio handover at the bottom there. And then there is space for the 2021 Britannia, which apparently is going into circulation. Not that I nor anyone else has seen them in circulation, but uh, we will keep our eyes peeled because I was at the Royal Mint when they confirmed that they were making it for circulation. So I'm determined to get into one of my books. So let's get into the bag and see what we find. Okay, into bag number one. Oh, these haven't got... Um, the little uh, tears that you can normally rip from so we'll have to brute force our way into these ones right this is technologies um the definitive design up to 2015 all very common years although i will check for rotation errors double die obverses things like that like that on these coins at the end of the video but we'll just have a cursory flick through to begin with looking for any commemoratives so unfortunately bag number one is a case of the diddlies let's just hope that uh Maybe we're just going to get our bad luck out of the way early and we'll find a bountiful reward of wonderful commemoratives. There we go. Florence Nightingale there. It is a particularly common coin. Not that exciting, although I think it's a very pretty coin. It's one of my favourite circulating designs because obviously a, oh, the rarity of a coin doesn't have any impact on the uh, beauty of the design. Now this is Britannia, it became the definitive design in 2015, um, replacing technologies. 2015 was a low minted year, uh, only 650,000 were put in circulation. More were put in 2016, but then um, apparently 2021 is the only other year that's going to be appearing in circulation. So let's have a look what year it is. 2016, so there we go. Not the rarest, but uh, I was going to say not the most common, but the 2021s, which will be more common when they do go out in circulation, if they go out in circulation. Uh, but I can't really draw parallels to that coin at the moment because um, we haven't seen them out in the wild yet. And I'm sure the first one will be very exciting, even if they end up being very, very common overall. But there we go. Well, a little bit dry to begin with, but I think I've I've worked out that this will what day this video will be going up on, um, and I believe tonight will be the night the Romans hold their special live stream at seven o'clock, revealing the Star Wars 50p and other coin designs. Because naturally, they they may come out in other weights in metals and such, like the Harry Potter f coins did last year. But uh, I know I'll be tuning in at 7 o'clock to have a peek and see what we've got ourselves in for. Because uh, it has the real potential to have some exciting designs. Many of you know I am a massive Star Wars fan. So for Star Wars and coins to collide in proper Royal Mint coins, not some nonsense tatty country that doesn't really exist. Uh, Charles Dickens there. Particularly common coin. But no, I guess if the 2021 Britannias have taken this long for there to be demand uh, of the coin to go into circulation. It begs the question, when is the first two pound coin with King Charles III on the obverse going to go into circulation? This is another common commemorative, the abolition of the slave trade. Pop that up in the top row, the rest of the common ones. Um, but yes, it's taken this long for the last, well, for the 2021 Britannia to go into circulation. How long might we be waiting? to find a circulating King Charles III two pound coin. Naturally, all the two pound coins minted from this year and onwards will have his portrait on the obverse. So like the Edward Jenner, the Flying Scotsman. Um, if they do <laughs> the 2023 definitive coin set, I'm sure we'll have um, two pound coins with the King's portrait on. But out in circulation, other than the uh, crazy people who spend the uh, coins not intended for circulation. It would definitely be interesting to see what the next naturally circulating two pound coin will be and when it'll be. Right, DNA double helix there. Another particularly common one, but again, it is a lovely design on that coin. I do like that one. Oh, there's another commemorative. We've got Trinity House, again. 
nothing too exciting and then we've got a very dirty coin here uh, it's just a technologies one so that's fine if that had been a commonwealth games would i have been disappointed yes and no <laughs> it would still be a gap filled in the book no matter what the condition is but uh, to get one of the rarer coins in poor quality that's always going to be a little bit disappointing isn't it I would take it though, I definitely would take it. Uh, VE Day, v -E Day Anniversary, so that is uh, the most common circulating commemorative two pound coin. You'll find plenty of those and we've obviously got the counters tracking some of the coins. We've got some common coins, some uncommon coins, just out of interest to see how many we find over the course of filling the book, which is uh, taking longer than the last one, I believe. The last, the last two pound coin will be finished in almost record time. There's Brunel's portrait, one of two Brunel two pound coins. Both are particularly common coins. You shouldn't have any problems getting your hands on. But I must admit, I quite like the idea of, oh, what's this, something shiny? That's just 2015 technologies, that's fine. Those ones I find uh, more frequently with the rotation errors. So 2015 technologies are always worth double checking for, much like I think it's the 2010 technologies are much more prone to the double die obverses which uh, it's been a while since I found one of those but always a plus when one turns up uh, I was prattling on about something oh the Royal Mint's reveal of the uh, Star Wars designs um, I think it's quite an exciting event and uh, something I, th I hope that I hope that they start doing more frequently with other des other coins as well because I think it's quite exciting uh, to get to hear the announcement from the Royal Mint right steam locomotive trivific He's particularly common. One of the more, one of the less common of the common coins, if that makes any sense. Our second VE Day anniversary, and a trio of technologies. We haven't done edge hunt. I better do that before someone gets irate in the comments. I do like doing the edge hunts. So, as you know, two pound coins are the last circulating denominations to have edge inscriptions unique to each of the designs. So, if it says "standing on the shoulders of giants," which I think these ones might all do. Uh, we know that'll be technologies, so just double check I haven't been stupid and have missed in his inscription. I hadn't on that one. Let's try once more. I was getting a little bit determined to uh, at least find one commemorative from an edge hunt. Right, shoulders. Shoulders. What's that say? Engineer. Oh, that'll be Bruno's portrait. Okay, I already had that one, but that's a commemorative ticked off. Okay, uh, the shoulders standing, 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 shoulders on standing. Okay, I think the rest are all just technologies. So this is the Isaac Newton quote on the technologies two pound coin. Uh, worth pointing out this one as well, it's 1997's two pound coin, the first year of the bimetallic two pound coin. It's the only bimetallic coin, uh, it's the only bimetallic two pound coin to have this portrait of the Queen, Raphael McClough's third portrait, because uh, from 98 onwards they started using Ian Rank Broadley's fourth portrait. But despite it only being minted in one year, there was absolutely loads of them minted, uh, which means no, they are not rare and valuable, as uh, I'm sure a lot of fake news, either in the uh, mainstream newspapers or crazy eBay listings will try and trick you into believing so don't part with big monies on the basis of that being a one-off portrait a rugby world cup there lovely design uh, in silver Pieford it is absolutely stunning it's got that sort of colorful hologram to it which I think is absolutely wonderful uh, unique as well I can't think of any of the other UK coins in all their releases have had a similar sort of holographic color effect um, I'm sure if they were to redo something or uh, make, make a new coin with that on it, it would make it very, very appealing. Does it make you wonder why? Why they've only done that in the one coin, the one, one, one design? Maybe it's just artistic license. Whoever designed that, I can't recall off the top of my head, decided they wanted that beautiful hologram color effect. Well, penultimate bag. We are rocketing through bags. Nothing really outstanding other than that 2016 Britannia, which is a 
bit of a sorry state of affairs, but we still have one more bag to save us after this one. So fingers are very much crossed. You should cross your fingers, your toes, your legs, your arms, your anything. Whatever you can cross, you cross it. Um, but be mindful if the wind changes direction, you might get stuck like that, as my grandmother used to say. Well then, last bag of the hunt. Links are as ever in the description of this video to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come over and join that. As well as links to my other social medias, the PO Box address you can write into, and of course Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel who I work for making videos for them, so please do check that out as well. I'm going to check the coins off to the side now to see whether there were any errors we might have missed. Well unfortunately no errors, edge inscriptions, uh, other doodars of interest. Um, to be added to our roster our only real star find is this 2016 britannia unfortunately so a little bit slim pickings today but hopefully the next uh two pound coin hunt we do will be much much improved we've burned a bunch of our bad luck and should have some good luck coming along our way i reckon that's how it works at least but uh do let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from today's video is if you've been lucky over the weekend then let me know what your best find of the weekend is all it leaves me to do is thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time for more coins bye